Hello people, this is Tana and you are watching Let Machine Talk. Today we are going to go over basics of Python, what all you will need typically right from the start. Python is a very powerful open source tool and it makes sense to learn Python due to the versatile nature of the language. You can use it for web development with frameworks like Django, Flask, I can go into software development, but above all, Python is the most widely used language in the industry of data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, basically for all the state of art technologies out there. Before we dive into the Python, we'll go over some basic Anaconda. Basics of Anaconda, basically it's a distribution, you need the right setup and environment to build your apps. In this video, uh, we'll see that what is Anaconda, what role does it play and how to get started with it. We'll go through the basics of Anaconda, create a virtual environment on Anaconda, which will get us going. Python has a huge community with a lot of different libraries and that's why in fact it's one of the biggest reasons for its popularity among data scientists. But all these libraries aren't pre-installed and you have to install and how to install them we'll go over that later but if i have to put forth an analogy anaconda is like those little art stack technologies art stack you used to purchase when you're a kid at your local stationery that came across with all the necessary and minimum required items to get you up and running for your art class it basically comes with the basic libraries you need for your project and if it lacks something can fix that as well but we'll talk about that later as a lot of regular upgrades coming, uh, keep coming, it's always updating. Uh, there may be a syntax change which may cause failure and so that's where Anaconda virtual environment kicks in. Uh, the concept of which is that it will keep all of your dependencies intact even though Python was updated or any libraries updated, your code will remain, remain immune to these changes. The website we need to go is www.anaconda.org. You can download Anaconda depending on which OS do you have. I have Mac OS there is a version for Windows and Linux as well. Its paid service also helps you to deploy your project. You can share code around the globe. I personally prefer GitHub but you know you can do this here as well. So yeah we'll go over these. Yeah. Uh, we'll go over the basics of uh, Anaconda in this session. www.anaconda.org uh, This is the site where you can download the this, uh, Anaconda form. Uh, this is a tab called download anaconda and you have the whole all the versions like windows mac os linux and you can download python as well python 2.7 python 3.6 there's a reason why there are two of these like you have you still have the option to download whether 2.7 or 3.6 because many of the libraries still work on 2.7 there are very few optimized for 3.6 so uh 2.7 is a good choice to learn i mean you can you can like basically you can increase your scope of learning uh, by many folds if you go with python 2.7 uh, for this uh, particular uh, series will you go with python 3 uh, yeah so i'll take you to the uh, client uh, client is basically like how you can access the anaconda from your desktop or from your terminal as uh, in windows i guess uh, it's called cmd uh, and you can you can you can basically access Anaconda through the terminal as well. Uh, that's that's there's one client called Anaconda. We'll go over that. Uh, yeah, let me let me take you through that. So go over terminal. We have one session running already. I'll take you to this. Yeah. So basically, um, if you want to launch a navigator, you can go for Anaconda navigator command. This will take you to the uh, navigator. Mm, yeah, we have an Anaconda navigator here. Yeah, so basically this is it. Uh, this is the uh, this is basically navigator if you want like a proper GUI. I don't prefer using GUI. I just access it from the terminal. It's much more easy. I'll show you why. Uh, to manage the projects from there on. You have our studio as well, so if, if, uh, we'll go over our, uh, in the next series. Uh, for this series, we, Python, like we have the Jupyter Notebook, it's, it's a, it also has a pl plugin for R as well, uh, and Python as well. So this is what we are going to use. 
and there's one or more id spider and jupiter labs so jupiter labs is basically an extension of jupiter notebook uh, but you have much more features in that we'll go we'll stick to the jupiter notebook for this particular series it's much more than enough um and it's much more easy to manage your projects with that uh, so we will we'll see how how it works uh for another client we'll go here then uh we have uh if we want to see basically is the conda up to date uh then uh we'll go what version we are using Yeah, we are using Conda version 4.4.11, and if we need to update this Conda update, yeah. So the solving environment is a little thing here about Anaconda. I don't know why. Like, if you any, if you in future, I'll show you how to install the libraries as well. So this is something typical of Anaconda. So don't worry if it's still there. It might take some time. Uh, yeah, now it's done. So it, it states all the tools which needs to be updated. That Conda we 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 had, if you remember from the previous command, 4.4.1 version, 4.4.11, and now we have 4.5.4, and we have set up tools and all these these updates. Total of 5.2 only. Then type Y to it. So let's go with Y and enter. So it downloads just like that. It's very easy to access it from the terminal. That's why I don't prefer navigator. Uh, once you remember the commands, uh, it's, it's all gonna be smooth, nice, crisp, and clear. So yeah. So this is this was one of the commands. Conda update Conda. Then you have to go and create virtual environment as I talked about in the previous part of this video. Uh, so for creating virtual environment, we'll go with the command. Create and and then any name so just go Tanai or let machine talk and then Python which version you want to use Python I want to use this I want to use Python equal to two point seven and I hit enter so it will go on and create a, a virtual environment. Uh, it will have all the dependencies reinstalled and will keep it intact. So now uh, you see, so it's installing PIP Python 2.7, what we stated for our this particular project. We'll go with PS. So it is downloading and extracting all the, all the packages here. Uh, what we need. This is a beautiful way of capturing your whole image of your project like you don't need to go somewhere else mm -hmm. yeah keeps your all the dependencies intact so that's what i love about the virtual environment um tons of virtual environment other virtual environments basically i prefer anaconda anaconda is one of the most popular used in industry it's industry standard so now, as you can see, our virtual environment is created. Uh, to activate this environment, you use source activate. Let's let machine talks. So we'll go with that. Source activate. Activate machine talk. Oh, sorry. This is we are so you can see here right here. Uh, you have that little mark over here, like machine talk. You have that name, so you are in you have activated that particular environment. Now you can do whatever you want, like you can go on running Jupyter Notebook. I uh, will go that in the next video. We'll go over that. Uh, uh, if you have to deactivate it, similarly, you can deactivate source. Deactivate. You don't have to type any name for the virtual environment to deactivate because it, it assumes that okay one one environment is running and it shuts it down deactivates it basically so so it's deactivated so now you can see we are out of it as we went over how to create an environment to activate an environment to deactivate an environment in case you want to remove the environment then you have to use this command on the remove and 
N N stands for name of particular environment. That was a let let machine talk. And then double slash. Then what do you want to remove? So you want to remove all, or if you want to remove particular, so it's asking that if you want to remove a particular package. So double dash and then the package name. And then uh, do you want to proceed? And type yes. It will. This package will be removed. I guess. Yeah. So it's. Now if we activate, it will activate. So activate. Try to activate it through an error. I guess. Yeah. So could not find corn error. So that's how we activate. Uh, we deactivate. We create. Environments. So, and as you can see here, one of the ca uh, commands is this one. So, if you want to list all of the information on your environments running the command so, uh, this will provide a list. Uh, I have a TensorFlow, so uh, that's that's fine. So, basically, we all we have this uh, whole thing about the. We, this was just a summary, guys. So, this will get uh, get us going basically from where we need to go and uh, uh, then yeah uh, thanks thanks for watching and uh, follow me on instagram uh, tanai.ai and